Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is, what is today? Today's Friday. <laughs> um, the 8th? The 7th. The 7th of October. I uh, don't have anything to do for Podcast or Spirit Weekday today. I don't have anything Western or <laughs> country themed. Um, which is kind of funny because I live in Tennessee, but I'm not a country person. Does that make sense? <laughs> I live in the country, but I don't practice country life. <laughs> I don't have any cowboy related things or um, anything like that, so I can't participate today, <laughs> but that's okay. Anyways, I'm finished object I want to share with you. It is a Christmas present. I'm going to gift it to someone with uh, some money as well. It's a teenager, but it is called the Sushi Cat by Stringy Ding Ding. It's a free pattern and a paper pattern. You can buy it or you can just use it off the website. My cat's a little derpy looking. I messed up its head. I followed the pattern exactly. I marked where the eyes were supposed to go. But in the pattern, hers looked like the eyes were in a different spot than where I put mine. So I don't know. But anyways, here's my sushi cat. So there he is. And his little eyes. He's popcorn stuck to him. <laughs> and uh, I put his little whiskers on there and his little mouth. I try to do that. I'm not that good at doing stuff like that. But then he's a sushi roll or something. I'm not sure what kind it's called because I don't know anything about sushi. <laughs> But the girl that I'm gifting this to loves cats and she loves sushi. So I'm going to give her this and then some money. <laughs> uh, she's going to be almost 15 before by Christmas. So she'll be happy with that. But it's so cute. It's made in a bunch of pieces if you don't like sewing. Because uh, the head. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 pieces. <laughs> um, so yeah, you make the body. What did I make first? I made uh, the head first, and then the body, the ears, the arms, the legs, the paws, <laughs> the tail, the piece of uh, tuna or whatever it is, and then the seaweed that goes around. And then I put in safety eyes and a little tiny safety nose. I need to get bigger safety noses. <laughs> I stitched on the mouth and the whiskers. So this is all uh, red heart yarn, white, black, and carrot. The This is a scrap of some kind of gray. Yeah, it was pretty quick make. I made it one day uh, throughout the day in between doing, you know, stuff. <laughs> but it's so cute. I think it's cute. It just didn't come exactly the way the pattern did. And I probably should have sewed it a little bit better because when, when it lays flat, it kind of leans forward. <laughs> but um, that's okay. Because for a teenager, it's fine. She'll like it. I don't she like it because she likes cats and stuff. She's the one who used to crochet. I don't know if she crochets anymore, but uh, she'll appreciate it for that. <laughs> so that's our finished object. And then I also, I started a new whip, and I'll link both of these below. My whip is called, I don't forget the name of it, Sissy. I'll have to just link it below. I looked at it right before I started filming, and then I forgot. But it is a little sweater I'm making June. It comes in size 6 month and 12 months, so I'm making a 12 month size. I'm using this ball of, it's ice cream. It's ice cream um, yarn by Line Brand. And the color, I forgot what color it's called. See, I'm not prepared. It has a ball band, but I left it in the living room because it got all floppy and it fell fell off, you know. So I have, this was like a half used ball of it, and then I also have a full unused ball. So I'm going to, i got to make the body. I'm doing a straight crochet right now. And then i got to do uh, like the, what's it called? <laughs> the border at the bottom, and then do the sleeves. And then they got little cuffs on them. And I don't know if I go back and do that the neck. I haven't read that far ahead. But it's going good so far, except I messed up the back. Somehow there are four extra stitches. I somehow accidentally increased at some point on this side. You can tell it's this side because it's bigger than the other side. But I'm not going to fix it. I'm not ripping it out. I would have to rip it all the way out to like back here to fix it. I'm just going to go with it. And it's just going to be a little flared in the back. Because it's, it's a baby sweater. Um, not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. So now I've got to... Do double crochet rolls until it is five inches long from under the armpit down. And then I'll do the bottom um, order thing. I, forgot, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> and then I go back into the sleeves. And um, that'll be a little sweater. I'm using a G hook, which is the four millimeter G, and it's a cute Christmas uh, sheep that my sister bought me multiple years ago. I can't even remember. Uh, but I love it. I love that. And so, yeah, that's what my little projects are for this week. Uh, I can't remember what day I made this on. It was three days ago. I've just been waiting to share it with you guys. And then I did start this two days ago. I just barely started it. And then yesterday I did all the rest of it. 
and I was I was gonna pull it out and I was like oh I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it and also the chain you're supposed to start with for the larger size 64 chains but then when you work all the stitches it says to work there's three empty stitch chains so I'm not sure about that but I'm gonna pull those out later and just use that tail to close that because <laughs> the starting of it was uh, we make a chain and then put it in a circle and work around but I always mess those up they always get twisted so I just made the chain and then I just worked back in it and then I'm just gonna attach that one part together later <laughs> um, but yeah it's coming along I think it's cute and it's gonna be super cute on my baby when it gets done. Um, I guess these are traditionally boy colors, but like I don't go by that. I think they're pretty colors and they'll look cute on her with her little blue eyeballs. So um, hopefully she'll be one at the end of January. So she'll be able to wear this for a few months probably before it starts getting hot here because it you know it stays cold here well into uh, March, sometimes April it snows. So uh, she'll be able to wear this. But I'm, I'm gonna that. I'll probably work on that some more today. And I found a couple more amigurumis that I want to make. Uh, one of them I have to wait. It's on YouTube. And two parts are out. But the third part hasn't come out yet. So I'm going to wait till they all three come out. So I can sit down and do it all at once. Because it is a small amigurumi. It's just split up into three parts. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm working on today. Trying to get some things done. I haven't got to crochet a whole lot in the past month. September was really slow. Too. But hopefully October will be better. But I'm going to hop off here because she's getting grumpy. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.